you pair this up with for the second round? It's Andrea, who has been in 52 different places and has 46 different jobs. And Steve, a celebrity great expert. Well, nice to have you both there, Andrea. And see, Andrea, you've, had, you've lived in 42 places and 56, oh, 46 different jobs? Yes. Really? Yes. I left home at a very young age. Uh, well, I'm going to say, yeah. And now you're a, prin a principal. I am. For uh, Los Angeles Unified School District. Uh, and how long have you been doing that? Um, this is my third year. Oh, Actually, third year. This Friday is my th uh, third year anniversary. Oh, okay. Is that like a record for you on a job? Three years? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. And Steve, you're a, a grave... Uh... A celebrity grave expert. So, celebrity, celebrity only celebrity grave. Okay. Well... Graves of note, yeah. Great Interesting of, graves. Okay. Matt, do you History. give tours? Is that kind of thing? I, I do tours. I've written a book. I've published a, actually two books about the subject of Los uh -huh. Angeles cemeteries. Do you go in the mausoleums and things? Oh, well, yeah. In fact, I got locked inside a mausoleum one time. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was locked in. It was closing time, and I couldn't. The, the doors were all locked, and I was... I had no, to, wait, it sounds like you snuck in. I didn't sneak in. I walked in while they were open. Right. I knew I had about an hour, and so about 45 minutes in, I'm looking at my watch, like it's time to get out of here. Now, what do you do inside the mausoleum for 45 minutes? I mean, it's only this big. Walking around and seeing who uh, is there that I might recognize oh, you know, okay. uh, from history or from TV or movies. or. Okay, but no ghosts or apparitions or anything of that nature. Well, sure. just once. What? <laughs> now, what's, what was that? Turpin, the silent film star? Oh, the cross-eyed guy. The cross-eyed yeah, guy, exactly. I believe he pushed me down some stairs when I was at his crypt. Really? Three small steps, kind of like this. I heard a woman go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he pushed you down the step. Why? I think, well, I don't, I, I think it was, a, you know, a slapstick thing on his part. That's what he did. Oh, he did it to be friendly. I think actually. he did it to be funny. It was, I can't think of really? a reason, but I got pushed and there was nobody there. Do you remember, you remember seeing anyone or just you no, felt No, it? it was just... I was, I was with some friends, but they weren't around me. We were visiting Ben. I don't imagine any pictures. of your friends would have done that. Yeah. Yeah, no, they were, they were laughing at their, you know. Right, right. They were just standing there watching me face first on the floor. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> for Ben Turpin. You guys ready to play your bet you like? Yeah. Right, here we go. All right. I'm going to ask you five questions on the increasing dollar value. The last question is double or nothing. We've randomly selected today's category. You're playing on the rock. Every answer has a form of the word rock in it. Question one for two hundred fifty dollars. What nineteen seventies novelty pet was marketed as perfect for people who hate animals, are allergic to animals, or are not allowed to keep animals? Pet rock. Yes. Look at pet that. rock. Pet rock. Yes. <laughs> pet rock. Very good. All right. There you go. All right. I'm good, Steve. Now at two hundred fifty dollars. Here we go. Uh, for five hundred dollars, what sitcom was inspired by Tina Fey's experience as a cast member and head writer on Saturday Night Live? 30, 30 Rock. 30 Rock. 30 Rock. Right. 30 rock. Right. 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 You're on the move. Stick around. After the break, you'll have a chance to try to earn even more money. And later on, you got to home, you get a chance to win, too. Yeah. Tell accommodations for our contestants are provided by Wyndham Rewards. Scan the QR code for this reach and learn how to become a Wyndham Rewards member and reports on hotel stays and everyday fun activities. All right, welcome back to Benjamin Live. Andre and Steve already started playing the game. They've earned 700 before we go double or nothing. Here we go. For seven hundred fifty dollars, multiple choice. In what nineteen seventy five cult classic does Tim Curry portray transvestite scientist Dr. Frank and Fritter? A. Rocky Three. B. Jailhouse Rock. C. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Or D. Rocky Mountain Oyster. <laughs> C. 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 Rocky, Rocky Horror Picture, Picture Show. Rocky Horror Picture Show. C. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. You guys now have fifteen hundred dollars. This next question is worth $1,000. Whitney Houston, Nine Inch Nails, and Depeche Mode were among the 2020 class of inductees into what famous music museum? That would be the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Jay. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Sounds good to me. Look at that. They got $2,500. We come back, they get a chance to double on winnings. We'll double on nothing. How do you bet your life? That's nice working, guys. Welcome back to Bet Your Life. It is double or nothing time. Before, I'm curious as how you can live in 52 places and have 40. Were you writing bad checks? What, 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 what? <laughs> no, I left home at a, at a young age, and then I was I lived in nine places in high school. Oh, you left home at a young age. How old were you when you left home? I was 15, and then I became emancipated. Oh, okay. Put yourself through school I, as well? I did, and then I, I went to the University of Minnesota, and then... Wow. Okay. Most recently, got my doctorate at University. Well, there you go. And you played the tuba in high school? I did. And you won the, what is the Smile Award? 
Um, well, basically, I was on the dance line in high school, and yeah. for people who didn't have a lot of dancing prowess like myself, they yeah. gave us consolation prizes. Oh, that's like the, the every kid gets a trophy thing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So you got the, the smile award. The smile. Well, it's a very pretty smile, and it's certainly worth an award. All right. So, Steve, tell us some more. What cemetery has the most celebrities in Los Angeles? I would say Hollywood Forever. It should be called Hollywood Memorial Park, yes. Oh, that's over, what's it, where is By it? By Paramount Studios in Santa Monica. Boulevard. Right, okay, okay. Yeah. And, and, and what's, like, the oldest celebrity in any of these? Rudolph Valentino. I guess that's true. He died in 1926? Uh, uh, yeah, he did, 26. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Okay, did, okay. Yeah. So what's your little Boston accent? Yeah, I'm from Boston. Oh, where about? So, yeah, Newton. Oh, no, no, I'm from Andrew, right down no, the street. No, no, no. How long did you live there? Until I was 18. Oh, okay, okay. And it gets pretty cold in Boston. Yes, it does. <laughs> you get a lot of, you know... A lot of snow. <laughs> okay, now you got $500. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Three of you guys, you want to go double or nothing? We're going to go double or nothing. All right, yes. double or nothing. There you go. There you go. All right. There we are. Now, your double or nothing question. The category is still on the rocks. Every answer, of course, has the word rock in it. Here's your double nothing question. Starring John Lithgow and Kristen Johnston, what 90s sitcom title refers to Earth's position and our solar system? Hey, can we, can we, do we have to just give them the money? <laughs> if you don't get this, I'm, I'm taking your car, okay? This, <laughs> Jay, I, we're going to go with Third Rock from the third Sun. Third Rock yeah. from the Sun? Yeah.